So today on this Tech Tip Tuesday, we are going to talk about an automatic dosing system. <laughs> We're going to go through how we install this auto dosing system into a pond skimmer. Which pond skimmer? Is a Aqua Scape 400. Not that that matters, but that's where we are today. We are in the training center at Decker's Pondscapes for the winter. So what I'm going to do is show you what actually comes in the box of the dosing system. So first is a box of Maintain, which is beneficial bacteria. It's a blend of uh, beneficial bacteria to keep your water clean. We have the transformer. The supply line, whatever that is, <laughs> and we have the auto dosing system. Let's just say any woman that is watching this just said that figures. <laughs> Directions go out the door. And then we have a mounting bracket for this to our check valves. The mounting bracket is for the line? Yes. Okay. It's for the supply line from the dosing system into the skimmer. And let me go ahead and show you how we install it. So Jason has already pre-dug the hole. Jason, run through why you dug it to the depth that you did. I dug it to the depth that we did. On the back of the auto dosing system is a line. And it says, do not bury above this point. And the reason for that is you do not want this keypad, which is electric, to get submerged in water. You know, it is water resistant, you know, from the rain and everything, nothing will affect that. But if it was submerged in water, I think you might run into a problem or two. All right, so the way we like to install this is having it facing you. So when you walk up to the pond, you can see all the control panels and everything are facing you. That's the way I like to do it. I mean, it doesn't have to be done that way, but that's the way we do it. So one of the other things is normally people are putting plants and stuff around the skimmer just to kind of disguise it. So the fact that it's fairly close to the skimmer is not going to be an issue. If you put some creeping plants or something around it, you'll still be able to access it because it is a monthly change out on the bag of bacteria. So I put this in. I'm just going to go ahead and fill the soil around it. Just pack it in there so it don't move. And then I will show you how we install the transformer to it. It has this lead coming out. And it has two prongs, which are male. Self-explanatory goes into the female part on. And then there's a nut that actually keeps it tight so it doesn't pull out. Once you have that installed, you can install your supply line. Um, I've already got this cut to length. Usually they give you, I believe it's three feet of this line. So if you don't want, you know, if you can't be up close, you could be within two, three feet of it would be good. Before we hook that up, Jay, how about you pop the lid off and show them exactly what the inside looks like and maybe we can hook the bag up. All right, sounds good. <laughs> That's why we're both here doing this today, so we can keep each other on point. So inside is the line that goes to your bag, depending on what you're using, your bag of bacteria. There is four different things we can use. We'll explain that later on in the video. So this will go into the bag, which I'll hook up in a second. And also in this is a pump. And these pumps are replaceable. Sometimes they do go bad. They're very uh, inexpensive to replace. We actually replace them on all our dosing systems once a year, whether they need them or not. All right, and then of course, if you ever forget how to prime your dosing system, the directions are underneath. So let me go ahead and grab the bag of Maintain, and we'll install that now. So on all the bags, it has a cap. You can unscrew the cap, or I hold it on the top, because if you grab it from the bottom, stuff will come out. Feed that supply line in, or the suction line, line rather. I know there's somebody out there thinking right now, that's similar to the bags of wine you can buy. But I don't think that's a good idea. I'll try it out later. I'll let you know how it is. 
I'm not in tomorrow. You'll know why. <laughs> <laughs> I know where you live. All right. So the bag goes in. This is a kink-free line, so don't worry about kinking it. It will not kink on you. It goes back on top. How you do release that to open it up is there's four blue buttons here. Squeeze all four in at the same time and that'll come off. And here's our supply line. Like I was saying earlier, usually there's three feet of it. I've already cut it to length. And they give you three feet in case you can't get right up close to the pond. You can go a little bit farther. I, I recommend not going much farther than that though. And that line pushes in, there's compression fittings. It pushes in and will not push out and it will not come out. If you do want it coming out, there's a blue collar there. Pull that collar in and it'll release that line. So we'll push it back in. This will feed through the relief hole in the back of the skimmer. And then we grab our, it's like a mounting bracket that goes to your check valve. I'll show you how that wraps around. And it's got a buckle here. It's pretty simple. Feeds through. Feeds through the other side and tightens on. and then the line slides down through. One thing I would recommend on this though, once you've got this on here, I would cut this excess off. You don't want it getting down into the propeller or the pump or anything. So I just cut a little off it so it won't reach that. I'm gonna go ahead and how and power this up and I'll show you how everything works. Okay, Jason, show us how to prime the dosing system. We do that by holding down this times two button. We'll hold that down and we wait for the dosing system light to start flashing, which means the pump inside is pumping and it's running through a cycle. So one of the things that also on the top of this keypad is the different amount of gallons for different size ponds. So every pond is a little bit different. This one that we have right here is about 11 to 1200 gallons of water once it's complete with stream and waterfall and everything else. So Jason's gonna show you which one to select on this and why. So on this, there's increments of 500 gallons. So there's 500, 1000, 1500 2000 all the way up to 5000 gallons now we never want to underdose the pond with bacteria so we do not want to go to the 1000 because we have 1100 or 1200 so we go to 1500 gallons next uh, you can do that with bacteria you'll never want to do that with algicide algicide will take the oxygen out of the water and isn't safe for your fish to overdose so how long roughly do you think it's going to take for this to prime usually take five ten minutes at most usually if it runs through one cycle and it don't go it usually goes through the next as that primes we'll show you it dripping we just got to keep an eye on it well this is prime and if you actually watch it you may never see it drip unless you're constantly staring at it and the reason for that is this like an IV drip system you have like at the hospital you're only gonna see it drip every so often okay so that's how you install an auto dosing system on your pond now we'll take a few minutes and go over the different applications we can use this auto dosing system on and the different treatments that go in it all right we've got four different water treatments we can run through there. We have Maintain, which combines the most effective water treatments in one powerful formulation. We have Clean for Ponds, which optimizes water conditions, eliminates sludge, or anything building up on your filters. Then we've got Clear for Ponds, which controls debris buildup and clears cloudiness and discolored water. And then we've got Protect for Ponds, which is really for our fish. It reduces fish loss due to different parasites or bacterial infections they may get. When to use that Protect is probably a good thing to talk about. And a lot of times coming out of winter, you know, the fish are stressed a little bit and anything you can do to help reduce your fish loss is a really good idea. So if you wanted to put some Protect in your dosing system early in the spring, 
and then maybe just get an additional bottle of bacteria because we really want to start that beneficial bacteria also. Jason, what are some of the other uses for the dosing system? All right, the dosing systems could be used on pondless waterfalls, fountains, even uh, fountains that are like standing water. There's a treatment for that as well. So as Jason mentioned, we can use it for many different things. It's the same dosing system cartridge, but then we have these other two products that work for that. And what are they, Jay? We have Clean for Fountains, which cleans and clears fountains with standing water, like I was saying before. And then we've got Prevent for Fountains, which keeps the fountains looking clean and clear all year long. So what do we got over here? This is something I'm super excited about uh, that came out last year. So what is this gizmo? This is another smart pond dosing system. It's called the XT, and it is for larger koi ponds or recreation ponds you can use, use it on. You're generally using that on something with a big body of water. And look at the size of the jugs on this because, you know, on the small ones, we got a bag, but here we have a much bigger bottle. It's all proportionate, right? If you got a bigger body of water, you need a bigger bottle. One of the things we didn't talk about is how long will these bags last? It's all dependent on the size of your pond and how many gallons you got, but you can generally gauge anywhere from 20 to 30 days for an average pond. So you're going to want to be out there checking it at probably day 20. If you don't have enough bacteria in your pond, your water is going to turn green. A lot of times what happens is people start their ponds up early in the season and then they don't put bacteria in for two or three weeks which is not a good scenario because your water most definitely will start to turn green. Generally when it turns green and gets cloudy, it's a lack of beneficial bacteria. But if you put in one of these dosing systems, it's just gonna take away anything you have to remember. Everybody's busy. Yeah, and everybody forgets stuff, even me. <laughs> That's all we have on these automatic dosing systems. If you like this sort of thing, check back in every Tuesday on Tech Tip Tuesday because we'll have something else for you. Jason, take it out. And if this is the type of thing you like, go ahead and like, subscribe, hit the bell, ding, ding. Do whatever you got to do to make sure you keep getting these videos. We'll see you all next time.